Hi guys, now this is not really a scam that I want to talk about, it's more of a setup. And uh, I'll just preface it by saying this is Roselle, the fruit girl from Barakai, and she's got nothing to do with the story, but it's just a great um, photograph, so I thought I'd uh, put her up there. And she's a fantastic person. If you're ever in Station 3 in Barakai, uh, go see Roselle and get some fruit. And uh, anyway, this has happened to me probably six or seven times in Manila. And uh, it's when you jump into a cab, I'll just say before that, uh, most of the cab drivers are fantastic, really fantastic people. And uh, really, and uh, but probably about oh, five, six, seven times uh, in my times of going to the uh, Philippines, they um, you'll get a guy, a taxi driver, that seems to know uh, a 19 year old virgin <laughs> and they want to take you to meet this 19 year old virgin. So it's not 18 year old, 18 year old, it's not 21 year old, it always seems to be 19. So that sort of indicates to me that. Uh, these guys uh, talk amongst themselves and they think that foreigners will go for a 19 year old or something like that. So, um, yeah, so uh, when you turn them down, they uh, get very insistent. They don't sort of stop. You say, no, no, I've got, you know, I've got a girlfriend. I don't really uh, want to meet her or I'm not interested. They just seem to keep going. But the thing is, they do it with a straight face. It's like <laughs> they, they, they think you're so dumb that you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> that they got a friend, and they always call them a friend. Now, most of these um, cab drivers are in their about uh, late thirties to early fifties, and uh, how many guys in their late thirties to uh, early fifties uh, have a friend who's a nineteen-year-old woman, <laughs> and and she and he knows that she's a virgin. Uh, I'd think very few. So it's a, just a total uh, setup, and uh, they probably take you to a uh, brothel or something like that and they get a, a big kickback I'd say that would be the case uh, but you can nev never know it could be uh, even worse you know you could be getting um, set up to be robbed or whatever they just take you to an area and there's uh, you know two or three people waiting for you and they jump you or whatever so just don't get sucked in by that one guys uh, if it happens to you but uh, I'm sure you've been propositioned by these taxi drivers to, you know, if it's not a nine-year-old, uh, it's always, oh, we'll take you to meet, uh, I'll take you to meet um, this lovely woman that I know or something like that. She she like, she likes Western men and would lo like to meet you or something like that. Or, you know, it might be even the taxi driver's sister, you'll often get that. But, uh, yeah, leave your uh, comments uh, from your experience, guys, uh, down below. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's some great story, stories out of that to be told and I might read them out in another video so uh, that'd be really good if you um, drop us some uh, stories in, in regards to your um, experiences with uh, taxi drivers trying to proposition you to meet women. Thank you. Thumbs up.